Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a bit of a different video, but I hope you guys like it. I am in River's Nursery again. I've actually been filming in here for the past few videos on this channel, so if you're wondering where I am, that is where I am. Um, but today I thought I would do a wardrobe tour, like what's in my baby's wardrobe, in River's wardrobe, and show you so, well, all of her clothes and her outfits and stuff. I know I did actually show you her wardrobes when I did the nursery tour, but obviously um, she's grown out of two sizes of clothing now, um, so that's a little bit different and what's in there, but also a closer look at some of the stuff. Um, there's some beautiful things. <laughs> she's actually a very, very lucky little girl. Um, she has been gifted so many things from my friends and family and I've bought her lots of things and she's also got given lots of things from brands as well. So she does have an amazing wardrobe. Um, it's much better than my wardrobe. It's become my obsession. Dressing her is my favourite part of the day. Um, yeah, so I thought I would show you what she's got in her wardrobe and I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, so if you've seen her nursery tour um, before, you'll know that she's got these cupboards in her nursery. Um, and in the first one, I'm going to talk you through what is in this. Basically, it's a rail. All the rest of the stuff up and down is storage. But this is a rail of her clothes. Um, and it ranges in size. So from, I think, here is the stuff that currently fits her. So that's like her current kind of hanging wardrobe. Um, and then the rest of the stuff goes from three to six to about, actually all of this is three to six, um, but it doesn't fit her yet. So she's still a little bit too small for that. Um, whereas this is a mixture of naught to three and three to six that still fits her. And then this section here is her smock dresses, which I'm most excited to show you. Um, and she's got a couple of dressing gowns and a couple of like outerwear bits. So in the section that currently fits her, um, she's got this super cute white company outfit that I think she's probably got one more wearing. This is really too small from her, for her. Um, and then she's got this gorgeous Bon Point dress or Bon Point. However you want to say it, um, this is one of the most expensive baby brands out there, but they actually have a shop in Vista Village and about twice a year they have an insane sale um, where everything goes down to really, really affordable prices. So I think this was £15 um, and it was probably reduced from about 100 So a lot of her stuff is from Bon Point, but don't think I've gone all crazy and spent like £100 on a baby dress because I haven't. It all comes from the sale of the sale um, in Vista. This is Baby Gap, a little jumper dress. This is super cute. This is from a brand called Mini Sibling. She got sent that. She hasn't worn it yet because it's a bit of a summery one um, and it's been cold. Um, and then she's also got a romper from them. I think I might put her in this tomorrow, actually. It's super cute. I'm going to put like a little um, black uh, baby vest underneath it. Um, this one is from Next. She actually still hasn't worn that. I need to put her in that. And then she's got a cute little romper from Aiden and Nene. Um, another little dress from Next that was a gift. And then she has a little velvet long sleeve number from the White Company. This is still slightly too big. We're getting into the three to six stuff that's a little bit big for her. And then this dress is actually um, a really funny one that I spotted when I was in LA ages ago. It's got literally like a look-alike for Piglet on it and then the short haired Dachshund as well. Um, and I actually bought this in a bigger size for Lulu and then I found it online and I bought it um, when I found out I was pregnant I found it again and I bought it for her. Um, and then these tops are again all Bond points um, from Bista village so this one is super cute again they're all like hand embroidered they're absolutely gorgeous and they're all about 15 pounds each um reduced from crazy crazy prices i love this one it's like linen with neon embroidery and then she's got a little polka dot smock shirt she's had a couple of these in the smaller size that don't fit her anymore and i was literally i not this exact print but the smock shirts i was so sad when she grew out of them um and then this one is the last one and then these dresses are all a bit of a variation this one i bought from tk maxx she hasn't worn any of these yet because they're all too big um, this is a baby Chloe one that was actually Lulu's. Um, I bought this for Lulu when she was born um, and I've borrowed it back from my sister so she can wear it. This is a hand-me-down from her other cousin Willow. It's um, a white company, like little top with matching knickers. This is a cute little check dress from Mothercare, which I have a really, really similar dress. Uh, this one is actually one my mum bought, which is supposed to be a christening gown. My mum thought it was um, like a night dress. Uh, I'm not sure when she's going to wear it, but it doesn't fit her yet, so we've got time to think about it. Comes with the matching knickers again. Um, this is a really fun little top. This is from Next. I thought that would be nice in the summer. A little denim dress, that's from Baby Gap. This little romper that was a gift from my sister. I can't wait to put her in this, but I don't know what to put on her legs. If you have any ideas, let me know. 
Um, another one from TK Maxx, that one is. This is another one from TK Maxx, a cute little linen set. It's like a shirt and then it's got little ruffly shorts on it as well. Um, this is a little embroidered dress from John Lewis that was a gift from John Lewis. Um, Aidan and A romper, which is super cute. This, I love this dress, so cute. I would actually wear this if it was my size. Um, this is from Next. Again, this is quite big, so I think that will fit her like six to nine. And then these, I absolutely love these, and I'm hoping they will fit her soon, but at the moment they look way too big. These are from the White Company. I got them in sale, I think, for about 15 pounds, but they've got this beautiful like metallic smock on the front. Um, and then lastly, this is actually also a hand-me-down from her little cousin Willow that my mum bought when we were in South Africa last year. So that will be good in the summer when we go on holiday. And then into her smock dresses. So some of these um, I've bought for her, some of them were gifts and some of them were actually mine when I was a little girl or my sister. So this first one is beautiful. It's got the most gorgeous, gorgeous smock detail on it. This is from Bond Point from Vista Village and I think it was reduced from about £300. Crazy, I know. Um, to 40 and this is actually for um, a wedding so this is my for my friend's wedding um, in the it's actually not in the summer it's in like May um, and then she's got this one which is from next they're both in three to six so they'll fit her now actually this one is three to six as well this was a gift from one of my family friends one of my mum's friends super cute this is from John Lewis so she's got three of them um, for this kind of oh no wait there's one more she's got four this one is from Ralph Lauren at Bristol Village as well so it comes with um, the matching knickers too uh yeah so she's got three four in the size for that she's going to be like in the next few weeks she'll be coming into those then she's got one in six to nine months this is from next as well and then the next three are all mark from me when i was a kid so um they these this one has a really funny size but i think it's like 12 to 18 months um equivalent these dresses tend to fit for a really long time. I actually had them from my sister who had them for Lulu as well. Um, and she said they fitted Lulu from like one till three. So um, because the length doesn't really matter too much. Uh, so yeah, this was, I think this one was my sister's actually um, when she was little. But isn't it beautiful? Like look at the detail in the smock. My grandma used to buy my sister and I a smock dress every year at Christmas apparently. So um, these are the ones that my mum um managed to salvage we had like a boiler leak where they were being stored and a lot of them got really stained um this is another beautiful one that's again like 18 to 24 and then this one is a really cool liberty print one um which i think is age two i there's pictures of me actually wearing this which is quite funny and lulu wore it absolutely loads and then lastly i think this is my favorite thing in the whole of her wardrobe this is another bon point smock dress that was reduced from about £300 to £40 again in Bista Village. It's age two, um, but it's just absolutely gorgeous. The material on this, I can't even like describe it, but it's just, oh, it's so, it feels beautiful. And it's got all of this really detailed hand smocking on the back as well. I just think it's so cute. She will look so cute in that one day. Um, I know it's a long time off, but I just, I, as these three dresses are really good examples of, if you buy really really good quality baby clothes and look after them they can last for generations so um yeah very very excited for her to wear these especially this one i think it's so cute um and then in the rest of here she has two dressing gowns she's got one with her name on it from my first years um that's naught to six so that will fit her soon i haven't really put her in um, a dressing gown yet because she's a little bit too small at the moment and then this one is a white company one that was a gift from my friend Lissy um, which is in six to twelve months so it'll be a while before she's in that this is her snowsuit um, again this is from Bond Point um, I think it was 300 pounds reduced to 30 um, and it's like duck feather and down so it's like super super warm it's actually very big it was supposed to be naught to three months but it's more like three to six so it's very big for her um and then this last one is probably the most extravagant item in her wardrobe it is a coat that i picked up in vista village from baby gucci it was like 80 percent off and it is in age 18 to 24 so she won't be wearing it for a while but i just absolutely love it i'm gonna show you the back because it is so cute super super cute absolutely gorgeous um so yeah that was a little bit of a crazy purchase mike was like what you bought the baby a gucci coat um but yeah hopefully she'll wear it a lot as well i spoke to my sister and my sister was like at that age they'll wear coats for like two years basically because uh, you know you put them in when they're slightly big and then they wear them all the way through so that's um her hanging wardrobe in there and then in the next 
bits um, I have at the top here. This is um, a collection of things that are six to nine months and above, but not obviously the fancy dresses and stuff. So there's like a few jumpers that are um, six to nine. That one's Zara, this one is from Angel's Face, and then there's a little dress that, I think this is actually three to six, but it looks enormous, so I put it in the six to nine one. Um, a little Jules embroidered one in six to nine. Um, this is actually three to six, this little raincoat from Pity Bato, um, but again, it's really big, so I think this will probably end up fitting her next, uh, or not not next, but this kind of end of summer when the rainy rainy season hits. Um, and then there's a little white company jumper. Again, the same dress as the first one, but this is in size six to nine, so um, a lot bigger than the other one. Little Jules number, that was from Mike's mum, it's got dogs on it. Um, and then this is a little starry one from Next, that was a gift. And then um, this is the same as the jumpsuit, but a dress, and that is in, I think it's, is it six to nine? Yeah, six to nine months, and then these are all nine to twelve, so it's like a little jacket. These are Baby Gap, these two dresses. Um, again, they were gifts, and then there's a little cashmere jumper, which was also a gift. So nice. <laughs> um, and that is in 12 months, and then there's a coat that is in 12 to 18 months, and then these are a couple of Lulu's dresses that are in age two to three. So they got a long way off, but um, they were super cute, so... Um, I think this one is Darcy Brown, which I don't think exists anymore. Um, and this one is uh, Crew Cuts, so baby J. Crew, I actually bought that for Lulu. Um, so they'll fit her one day, <laughs> not for a while. And then the section below here is where everything is kind of organised into um, storage. These, if anyone's asking, these are from Ikea. Um, these personalised um, like buckets are from my first years. Um, the non-personalised ones are from... TK Maxx and they all have stars on. This one actually says Squidge because they sent it for Squidge but I've actually used it in the baby's room. Um, she loves Squidge, it's fine. Um, so these first ones are stuff that fits her at the moment. Um, this is actually Baby Grows and Bibs. So she actually looks like she has a ton of Baby Grows but these ones and these two at the back don't actually fit her yet. They're like the three to six that are big. These ones are 0 to 3 that she's about to come out of, and then these are like smaller 3 to 6. So she's in that weird transition in between sizes at the moment. So she's still got a few wears left in these ones, but she's moving into those ones. So um, that's her Baby Grow kind of collection. This one is a Bond Point one, which is beautiful. She's got um, TK Maxx. I think these are Baby Tahari at TK Maxx. My First Years, Kissy Kissy. That's. Um, Ted Baker, this is a uh, Pity Bato one we bought the day before she was born. Um, and then most of the others are next. So these are all next. Next baby grows are amazing, I love them. Um, and then she's got muslin cloths here. I actually had a big clear out of muslin cloths because I had so many, I got a lot as gifts. And these are my favorite ones that um, I tend to use all the time. The Primark ones, the white ones, and that one which is like has big grey stars on are so good. I really, really rate the Primark ones and they're like a pound each. Um, these three are from Etta Loves. They're like the monochrome ones that she loves like staring at. So they've been really good. I've used those loads. And then these neon style ones are from Aiden and Anae. And then I think these three are probably my favourite ones. These are from a brand called Willa and the Bear. They're quite a lot more expensive. They have like the satin edging on them, but they're so beautiful. Um, I tend to find myself using these three more than any others. I really, really love them. And then in this section here, this looks so ridiculous because these two rows are all leggings. But again she's got half of them that she's about to grow out of and the other half that she's about to grow into so I haven't kind of put away her 0 to 3 ones yet so she has quite a selection of leggings actually it's what she will usually be wearing like on a day to day basis um, these ones here are um, cashmere ones that again I got from Bond Point for about 15 to 20 pounds depending on which ones they are which sounds like a lot for leggings but she's honestly worn them so much like they're the ones that she wears on rotation because it's been cold as well um and then she has a couple of zara ones these ribbed ones are zara they're h and m um there's primark i buy the the cotton leggings from primark are so good but definitely size up um they come up really small and then these ones she hasn't worn any of these yet because these are all too big at the moment um and then at the back she has all of her white vests so some of these have long sleeves some of them have short sleeve depending on what she's wearing them under um i actually really really love the next 
baby vests and also the H&M ones are really nice. I do have quite a lot of Primark ones too, they're really good but they do tend to, um, they come up small so you definitely size down but they also get a bit overstretched at the neck so they don't last as well as the others. Um, and then on this side she has her kind of fancy vests so um, she's got like a white company one with a collar, she's got a personalised one, she's got Gap starry one, there's lots of like with like frilly collars and things like that so um, again they are a mixture of the Nord 3 and the 3 to 6, hence there's so many of those because um, she's kind of in between sizes. And then in this drawer down, this is also stuff that fits at the moment, she's got her kind of jackety cardigan um, stash. I mean, some of these actually, they still fit. Like this one at the bottom is from Zara and that's like naught to one month, but it still fits her because it's massive. And then some of them, like I think this one is 3 to 6. Some of them are 0-3, this one's 0-3, that's from Debenhams. Um, she's got some Baby Maury, Next, White Company, Next, Next. Um, the White Company, that's her cashmere star hoodie that goes with the set. That, actually, that was the, one of the first things I bought for her. And then this, these are actually so, so useful, and I would recommend if you're having a baby to buy one of these in like a couple of different sizes because she wears them so much if you like kind of understated baby clothes um this is from mother care and she had this in newborn size and it lasted her up until last week and then i just bought they come up really big um and then i just bought her naught to three and it fits it's actually quite big for her now um and they're 10 pounds they're so so good she wears it so much um just like a little white it's like a thick knit cardi especially because she was a winter baby um She's used that loads. And then the back, she's got t-shirts. So, so various, <laughs> various different t-shirts. The top one is actually personalised with her name. Um, I can't remember the name of the brand. They sent it to me. Um, and it's not actually printed in the labels, which is really annoying because I can't remember the name of it. But I'll find it and link it. Um, and then there's a Jules one, a Baby Maury. I love these next ones. They're super, super soft with the star. They're from the boys' section. I shop in the boys' section probably more than I do in the girls' section. Um, again, another one from Mini Sibling, which was a gift. Primark. Um, and then another like little hoodie. They're her tops. And then in the next bit, I actually keep all of her socks and tights. And I haven't divided this up into age yet because some of the i feel like socks just keep fitting some of the socks are newborn some of them are like naught to three um some of the tights are six to twelve the ones these white ones at the bottom or cream ones um so they all live in there this box um is all six to nine months and it's like everything for six to nine months apart from the hanging dresses so it's like vests jumpers all that kind of stuff and then the next one is 9 to 12. There's actually one thing that I want to show you in here because it's my favourite baby thing that I have bought. Um, again, it's from Bon Point. I'm just obsessed with them. I'm like, yeah, I'm weird like that. Um, and it was from Vista Village. And I love this so much, but they only had it in 9 to 12 months. It is a velour sleep suit, but the collar says to the moon and back. And it's all hand embroidered and it's got stars. And I just thought it was the most beautiful thing in the world. I think it was reduced to about £30, so it was still expensive, but um, how much was it originally? 84 Originally £84, I would not spend £84 on a baby grow, but I absolutely love that so much, and I bought it even before she was born. I was like, they didn't have the smaller sizes, I was like, I don't care, I just love it so much, I'm going to buy it for when she's a year old, because it's just so cute. Um, and she's got lots of different kind of pyjamas and stuff in there. These are like the White Company pyjama sets, again, Vista Village for like, I think they were £12 um, for when she's a bit bigger, £13, I've still got the label on them. Um, so yeah, that's her like 12, her 9 to 12 months, and then she's got a couple of swimsuits in here actually um she's got three swimsuits they're all in different sizes i think this is six to twelve this is three to six um and the bottom one is it's not to three. Oh no this is that no this is three to six that's six to nine and then the other one is nine to twelve this was from my mum when i first had her how adorable is this she needs to go swimming to actually wear this before she grows out of it because it is just so cute it's from a brand called um, Rachel Riley, I think. Um, this little gingham one is next, and then um, the red one is from Bowden. So yeah, they're her little swimmers. And then the rest of in here is not really wardrobe, to be honest. This is um, little, like, snuggly comforter teddies. She's got quite a few of them, actually. She got a lot as gifts, so that's kind of where they live. She's just starting to get into these, but she usually only has, like, one or two around. She doesn't have, like, 
her full collection of all, I think she has five. Spoilt little girl. Um, and then these are baby shoes, um, which she doesn't actually wear very often, but they're super cute for like photos and stuff. These are from My First Years. There's another set of espadrilles from My First Years. How sweet are they? Um, and then there's some like fluffy slippers and stuff. And then there's some first like crawling shoes as well. I think a subscriber actually sent these to, um, to my management agency, but aren't they cute? They've got dachshunds on them. Um, they're like, you know, first baby shoes when they start crawling. Um, and then, I'll pop those down there. And then we've got sleeping bags. So there's an Aiden and Nay one, which is six to 12 months. And then this one is from Next and is like 12 to 18 months, I think. So they're ones that she doesn't use. She sleeps in a white company one at the moment. She's got, actually got two. She's got a white company one and Willa and the Bear, which is super nice. Then she's got a selection of things in here, which is kind of like toys for when she's much older or like keepsake gifts, like a little silver, she's got a little silver Peter Rabbit, um, things like that. I, anything that she's not gonna use for a long time, I just put in there. And she's got spare sheets for her cot, which she has still never used because she's still sleeping in our room. Um, so yeah, that is her whole wardrobe. Slightly obsessed with baby clothes right now. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let's have a little another look at these dresses before we go. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, I would 100% recommend going baby shopping in Bista Village, as you may be able to tell. This is not sponsored by Bista Village. I just, I just love it. <laughs> they have the best baby clothes. Um, so yeah, see you guys soon.